everyone welcome back to my youtube channel salesforce now so today we are going to learn that how we can use if true false statement in lwc means how we can use conditional statement in lwc so guys it is just a simple a kind of if else statement which we can use in our html file in a template tab so guys first of all let me show you the demo that in this today's video what we are going to learn about so guys so guys here is my lwc component there is one card whose title name is button card and there is one lwc button like lightning button is implemented in this which is which has a label of show so guys if i click on this show button then it will display a card another card whose title is if true false demo and content of this title is salesforce note and you can see that the title of this like label of this button has also changed which is converted into hide so now if i again click on this hide button then this particular card will get hide and again that button will be get changed to show button so now you can check it it is simply the card where has get hide like card is invisible to us like the card is invisible to us and the button has also changed to this from hide button to show button so guys let's check how we can implement this functionality into our lwc component so we just need to open our vs code which is a id and in that i have already created one project whose name is salesforce new so guys actually if you don't have idea that how we have created this project and how these folders are coming over there so you can check my previous videos i have already make a dedicated video on this topic so i will add a description of that video in that part so guys i will add the link of that particular video in the description and otherwise you can also able to see the suggestion of that video like right section of this video so guys let's get started so simply we just need to create a lwc component simply we just need to press control plus shift plus p in window and then we need to select create lightning web component so for here i am giving the name of our lightning web component maybe example conditional demo by salesforce no and we just need to enter so guys our lwc component has our successfully created whose name is what conditional demo by salesforce no so now what we need to do let me show you first first of all we need to set a location that in xml file that uh, in which page our lwc component will get displayed to the user simply first we need to change the value in is expose tag to true then we just need to use a target tag and inside target tag we need to use target tag to specify that what will be the target of our lwc component in which the user will be able to see our lwc component so for example in this demo we are showing our lwc component to user in the home page right so we just need to mention the target here which is lightning underscore underscore home page so our work for xml file has been already completed so we just need to simply close this file like this xml file now let's get back to see the html file so this is guys our structure of our html file of our lwc component and this is our javascript file of our lwc component so simply guys what we need to do first we just first need to create a card uh, whose title will be button card and uh, we need to implement a button like lightning button inside that particular card so simply i'm going here we need to use lightning sorry guys lightning card whose title will be for example title i am mentioning here maybe button card section and we just need to close the uh, tag so guys, so guys simply we have a lightning card whose title is button card section so inside inside this lightning card we need to implement a lightning button so simply i just need to use here like a tag which is no lightning button so just need to mention lightning button so when we are creating a light then we just need to give three at least three property for creating a lightning button first of all which is the color of what will be the color of button so for that we are using the variant property so here i am giving the value of our variant property is brand it means our but lightning button will be displaying blue in color then the second property is uh, label property means whatever will be the label shown to our user 
on the button like like here the label of our lighting button is show so here i am mentioning label equals to curly braces so guys i can simply give a static label for our lightning button but we don't need it because we are changing this lightning button on the click of the button for example when i am clicking on show button that then particular value like particular button will get changed to hide button and when i am clicking on this hide button then it will again get changed to show button so that's why guys i am keeping this label property means label of our button as a dynamic so for example i am passing a property in, inside curly braces like on click button on click button label and we just need to simply give a value of this property because guys it is a, it is a dynamic property right so we need to pass a value on this on click button label property in our javascript file so first of all i am so we just need to first import a track decorator in our lwc component and now i am decorating a track decorator like first of all i need to use this property and uh, i am giving the label of my property for example well whenever a user open our lwc component so at the initial phase he will be able to show the label of our button as a show right means our show button will be displayed to the user and when he will click on this show button then it will be get changed to hide button so first of all uh, we need to give a initial value of our click button level which will be show right guys and we just need to decorate this uh, particular like we just need to decorate this particular property with track decorator because it will be reactive in nature so it will get changed according to the uh, according to the user input so if you are confused that why did you did we use track decorator and what is the use of this so i have already created a dedicated video on this topic uh, the link of that video i have added in the description and it will be also shown to you in the right corner as a suggestion so guys simply we have done this so now what we have to do first of all we now we have to give a third property of our button like lightning button so the third property is on click event so guys as you all know i have already explained in my previous sessions that whenever a user click on that button then it use on click event to call a function so for here i am giving a name of our function handle click so whenever a user click on that button then that this on click event will get called and which will execute this handle click function so guys simply we need to close this tab our lightning button work is complete so guys here we have created our lightning card inside which a lightning button is there so now what we need to do we need to do that like particular like this uh, button is show so whenever a user click on this show button then it will get changed to hide and whenever a user click on this hide button it will get changed again to show so what did guys nothing we need to do nothing it is just a kind of simple thing we just need to use this function handle click which is passed on on click event we just need to use it in our javascript file and declare it sorry guys and declare it and simply we need to pass event inside our handle click function so guys uh, we are passing event tag like we are passing the event property because we need to get the value of our level right like right now it is show and whenever i will click it will become hide so for getting a label value of our button we just need to take a constant whose name will be like for example i am mentioning label you can mention anything i am mentioning the label as a constant so and for getting the label what we need to do event dot target dot label so through this guys we are getting the label of our button because we are giving the label property so through this we are getting the label for example right now we have a show label right so if we use a click on the show so we will get show value here and if we click on hide button then we will get hide value in this label so right now we just need to implement that if a button will be show like if show button is displaying to user and user click on the show button then it will get changed to hide and if button is clicked on like if hide button is get clicked by the user then it will get changed to if like if the label because guys label value of our button has been stored in this label right so we just need to mention this label here if label equals to show right if label equals to show then the button will be get changed to hide button so for this this on click label equals to hide 
so guys this condition simply means that whenever a user click on this button then this handle click function will get run and at that time if a level of this button will be shown then it will get automatically changed to height level and if we need to verify another condition like if level it will be equals to height then the button will be get changed like button level will get changed to show right guys so simply let me explain you what we have done here like first of all user will click on this button then this on click event will get fired through which handle click function will get called after calling the handle click function if the level of that button will be show then it will get changed to hide and if the level of this button like if the hide button is displaying to user and if we click on that then it will be this then it will be automatically get changed to show so let me show you that how it is working so first of all let me deploy our uh, logic component and guys before deploying you need to authorize your vs code with your developer org so i have already created a video on that topic so you can check out my previous video i will add a description of this link so guys our lwc component is successfully deployed simply i need to go in our sales for sure so simply first of all we need to refresh our page then click on this gear icon and click on this edit page so so guys after selecting edit page we will be able to see the app builder so on the left side under the custom column we will be able to see all the lwc component which we have been deployed in our salesforce or so the name of our lwc component is conditional demo by salesforce no so there let me find so here it is so we just need to simply drag and drop and simply we need to save this component so whenever a changes saved will be shown to you then you just need to select on back arrow over here so guys so guys you can see that our button card like our lwc component is uh, displaying properly whose uh, lightning card title is card section let me show you button card section and who has a button show because initial value of our button label has been mentioned as a show that's why it is show as a show so now i will click on this show button then it will get changed to hide button so guys you can check it uh, so guys you can check, see it now and if i click on this hide button again then it will get changed to show button as our uh, button changed personality has been implemented uh, successfully so now so what we do uh, what we need to do next if a user click on this show button then the button will get changed to hide which is already implemented here but apart from that we also need to show lightning card in uh, behind that like below that so then again if a user click on that hide button then that particular lightning card will get invisible like hide so for that guys we just need to simply uh, create a new card because guys if you show here so we have another lightning card whose title is if true first demo and there is a content over there says for snow so for example i am mentioning here another lightning card whose title will be for example may, let me copy paste this one if true first demo okay i am missing here and then we just need to simply close this lightning card and simply in lightning card we can pass a dynamic value for example my title and the value of this title like value of this property we can give it here in our javascript file which will be simply fetched in our html file so my title value i will give for example salesforce no right guys so here we have given a title of our card so whenever a card will get displayed then the value of this my title will get displayed to the user which will be salesforce no so simply what we need to do that whenever a button will be show and uh, whenever a click button so what we need to implement next that whenever a, a user click on show button then that particular a card will get displayed like this particular card will get displayed and if user click on this hide button that particular card will get hide invisible so for that guys i am mentioning one property here card visible and with the value instant value of this card will be i will mention the false so so guys why i have mentioned the value as a false of this card visible property because guys if you see so first of all at the initial phase the user will not be able to see the card and whenever a user will click on this show then he will be able to see the card 
so that why guys initially the card visible property will be false so that our lightning card will get invisible from the user means lightning card will not be displayed to our user so we need to decorate this property with track decorator and guys simply we need to use this card first of all we need to mention in this property like simply there is a so guys this is a simple logic like if a user click on this show button right then the property like then the value of the, our property card visible will tends to true right if value will be tends to true then the card will be visible and if the hide button will get called then the property of the our card visible then the property of our card visible will be changed to false right means our uh, lightning card will get hidden from our user and he will not be able to see that after clicking on that hide button so guys here we have done the work of javascript file but the functionality is not completed yet because we have not included our html file means we have not informed our html file that we need to hide and show this button on the change of card visible property so for that guys we just need to simply use a template tag here because guys we because guys we know that we can only use if true false statement and inside the template tag so simply guys i am using this if true uh, value of card visible right like let me copy and paste here otherwise we, will, we can face some so i simply card visible and i am closing this tag so guys what does this logic means i am explaining to you so like it is simply means that if the value of card visible will be true like if the value of card visible will be true then show this lightning card and if it is false then don't show it card and if it is false like card visible value will be false then don't show the lightning card whose condition i have mentioned here that if the button show button will be clicked then card will be visible to user and if it is uh, if hide button will be clicked then card will be card visible will property will get set to false and that lightning card will be get hidden from our particular user so we just need to simply deploy this lws component So guys, our LWC component has successfully deployed. So let's back to the Salesforce org and let's see what are the changes has been applied. So first we need to refresh our Salesforce org page. Right. So if I click on this show button, then you will be able to see this particular lightning card and the button label had get changed to hide button. And if user click on this hide button, then that particular lightning card will get hidden from the user. So guys, this is our simple demo of this true false statement in LWC and in the next video like in the next session we will see that how we can use for each loop in LWC so guys so guys till then keep learning keep enjoying